Hi, I'm Laura, um, also known as Pretty Little Geek Girl on the forums. Um, I'm a contributor to um, Jailbreak Source, um, mainly in the form of doing voice work for the announcer. Um, I've also contributed to some of the maps. I've done the uh, scary little ghost girl in the map Plague, and also have been the voice of the computer in Iridium. Okay, so I became involved in the game, I think, after about a year, um, having been neglected by my husband every single evening and weekend, um, I decided it would be quite nice to contribute a little bit to the game, um, and then every now and again my husband and I would actually get to have a discussion once in a while, which would be great. Um, he asked me to do the voice of the announcer, I think was the first thing he asked me to do. Um, we decided to take it in the direction of doing quite a posh British accent. Um, which comes quite easily to me, I, I suppose. Um, it was a little bit more put on for the game itself. Um, he's also very particular, so it took quite a few takes to get it right. Um, usually the first one was the one he went with, but never mind, we won't hold a grudge about that one. Um, but it's really nice to be involved in the game. It's nice to, to have something that I can say, yes, I did that, and yeah, it's really awesome to be involved. It's great. So I suppose my viewpoint of Jailbreak has, has, has uh, changed quite a bit um, from start to finish. Um, in fact, I think I've been through every emotion about it and it's come full circle. Um, so to begin with, um, I thought it was really cool and an excellent idea um, and something great for Wills and Dogmeat to do um, as a project together, to get them sort of interested in, in, in the gaming and modding scene again. Um, and then after, I think, I think that wore off pretty quickly, and after a couple of weeks, I think I really hated it and really resented the game altogether. Um, I think I tried every trick in the book to try and get him to stop doing it. Um, but it became very apparent very quickly that he was never going to leave the project alone. Um, and so I, I, you know, helped in little dribs and drabs trying to you know, get his attention. I think it was the only way to get his attention at the time was to sort of become involved and do something to help contribute to the game. Um, and then I, I kind of ignored it and I, I just sort of got used to our relationship being me sitting on the couch watching television, him being sitting on his laptop um, and doing something to do with jailbreak, whether it be actually designing the maps, doing the textures, or if it was just him talking on the forums all the time. Um, and yeah, after that phase, I've, I've recently now come out of that phase, um, and I've started to join in again. Um, and I've, I've joined the forums and started actually chatting to the people who've, who've had my husband's attention for, for the last two years. Um, and I was a little worried about doing it. Obviously, I resent them slightly, um, but having gotten to know them over this last this last couple of weeks, they're, they're really great guys, and there's such a great community around Jailbreak, and it's really nice to see that it's attracted sort of decent, intelligent human beings who are just out there to have a good time. And and so I'm really hoping that with with the next release, which hopefully will not be too far around the corner now. Um, It'll be the response will be really positive and attract some some more really decent people. I suppose another way I've contributed to to jailbreak is um, with mapping issues that my husband has been having from time to time. Um, he usually calls me over to his PC and is sitting there quite frustrated and not knowing where to go with it. Um, I can think of one in particular that I helped with quite a bit was uh, was plague. Um, it's actually a map that we sat down and sort of drew out on paper together, coming up with ideas for. Um, he gradually expanded and, span and expanded it so far to the extent that nobody could really find each other when they actually played. So it was it was another challenge again to then whittle it down um, and try and figure out what was the best what was the best way to do that without losing some of the quality stuff that he'd actually done. Um, and also with textures as well, I helped with that one quite a bit in, in some areas, you know, laying out the blood splatters and the leaves and all that kind of thing, trying to get the, the sort of feel and effect for the, for the map itself. Um, and having had a taste of, 
of helping with, with maps from time to time, I also decided to do my very first map, which was entitled Labyrinth, which has been included in the map pack. Um, not sure how, uh, how well it's gone down. Um, hopefully people have enjoyed it, but I decided it would be quite a nice idea to have a map that was very unlinear, um, <clears throat> where you could take a number of directions and the jails were actually in the centre, which was a slightly different idea, I think, to anything um, that the team had done so far in their maps. Um, so I wanted to see how the gameplay would work from that perspective. Um, so it was really great to actually make a map as well. Okay, so another fun map that we worked on together, I think, was Modesco, which was about the third map um, for Jailbreak. Um, I think Wills originally started to create it as a, as a jail compound. Um, and I came up with the idea of, of opening it up into outdoor areas, so it was like a working prison. And I think the idea was sort of based around almost like a chalk pit. Um, and, and a similar sort of style, I think, to Alien 3, possibly. Okay, so I feel a tiny bit ridiculous doing this, um, but I have had a few requests to demonstrate uh, some of the voices that I do for Jailbreak, so I have decided to do um, one of the announcer's voices. So here goes nothing. Five, four, three, two, one. Execution averted. Et voila. Okay, so now it's time for the quick shout out portion of the interview. Um, firstly, to Altair. Um, my rainbow fish buddy on the forum. I just wanted to say thank you for being so welcoming and it's really nice to meet such a kind-hearted, decent human being. Um, so it's been great meeting you. Um, also to Sherby, um, who's been contributing quite a lot to my Share Awesome music thread. Um, he's really opened my eyes to some really decent artists, actually, who would, would have usually been completely out of out of my spectrum of musical taste, um, but it's been great sharing stuff with you, so thank you for that. And also, finally, I have to say to my most recent contributor in that in that thread, um, to JJack, um, we had a bit of a musical, classical musical challenge. Um, unfortunately, he won hands down, but I, I lost to a good cause. He won by finding possibly one of the best pieces of classical music ever made, um, which is Bach Air on a G-string. Um, so. Sad to lose, but definitely I lost to the best piece of music I could have lost to. So it's been great meeting you guys, so thanks very much for being so welcoming. <laughs>